Bravo, como é que My name is Taka Zen. I am a student at St. Thomas. the video set up so each one of you can go and talk about the rebirth of Africa. What do you envision for Africa in the future? I'm the student advisor of the African Nation Student Association at St. Thomas and we work on bringing African unity and informing about African culture. Rebirth of Africa, you're going to tell me how we or our generation is going to be the rebirth of Africa. Um, I think our generation is doing a lot. We have great opportunities, like we have an opportunity to come abroad, we have an opportunity to taste different culture and we're taking that back home and we're finding My family is originally from Liberia. Both my brothers and sisters were born in Liberia as well, but I was born in the United States. My Liberian culture kind of always walks with me and I'm an American kid. I eat hamburgers, I eat hot dogs, I go to the shopping malls, but I always make sure that everyone can see that I'm Liberian and I carry that with me. I make sure if they ask me, where are you from? I don't say I'm from the Twin Cities, I say I'm from Liberia. Even though I wasn't born there, that's how much it is a part of me. My parents, I know when they came here, they really wanted to assimilate into the American culture. So with that, I didn't learn my language. It wasn't important until they realized that once they pass away, that's it. There's nothing left. I can't pass down my language to my children. And so as we go on in America, it's gonna be hard to have that Liberian identity if I don't know how to properly teach my children that they're Liberian. I know a lot of times when my generation think of Africa, they think of National Geographic, they think of poor people, they think of hungry people, they think of children with their bellies hanging out, and they think that Africa is a place of just war and just destruction, and they don't know that Africa has a story, and Africa has so many different cool elements that have been influenced in American culture. When you see these kids dance, when you see people do the duggy, or when you see people do the chicken head or crump, all of that comes from Africa. I've noticed too in high fashion, West African fabric is starting to be incorporated. You know, there's staple pieces in West Africa where you know if you see that fabric, that's a West African fabric or if you see a woman with a huge gele on her head or a huge hair tie, that's from West Africa. And that's big in showing who librarians are, who people of West Africa are. When you're